Welcome to my arpeggio video. So first of all, what is an arpeggio? An arpeggio is a chord played broken up. So what is a chord? A chord is a combination of several notes being played simultaneously that creates harmony. Um, the most common chord is called a triad. Um, so first off, we are going to learn how to play major and minor triads. And then we will learn how to arpeggiate those. Okay? So, a major triad is the first, the third, and the fifth note of a major scale. Now, I made another video about major scales, so I'm going to assume that you know your major scales now. If not, you can go ahead and watch those videos really quick. When you're ready, come on back, and here we go. We'll start with the easiest one. We'll start with the C major triad, because the C major scale is all white keys, right? C, D, E, F, G. C. So, we want the first note of that scale, which happens to be C. We want the third note of that scale, 1, 2, 3, and then we want the fifth, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you put the C, the E, and the G all together at once, and you get this happy chord called a C major triad. to recognize this sound, the easier it will be to find the other major triads. So let's take a moment to think about what this sound reminds you of so you can put an image to the sound. So for me, it reminds me of anything happy. I'd like to hear what you think it sounds like in the comments, okay? Okay, so that's how you know you're playing it right, is when you start hearing those happy things. Let's go to D. So remember the D major scale? D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. The D major scale has D as the first note. The third note is what? I hope you said F sharp, one, two, three. The fifth, any guesses? What's five steps away from D? A. So we have D, F sharp, and A as our D major triad. Also sounds pretty happy. Happy, happy. So E major triad. Remember the E major scale? Welcome back. Let's see if you got it right. It should look like F A C. All right. And now G, okay? G is another easy one. It's all white keys. Go. G B D. So good job, I hope. So next is A major. Try that one. Okay, here's A. A, C sharp, E. Very nice. Okay, B major is a tricky one. That's all I'm going to say. Go try it. Okay, B looks like this. B, D sharp, F sharp. Because remember the B major scale is B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B. So... This happened to be your five, and this happened to be your three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, makes sense? That's just gonna be one of those ones you have to memorize. And that brings us back to C major. C, E, G. Let's 
take a brief moment to practice all of those with both hands. So back to C major, I'm going to put my metronome to let's say 92 BPM and we'll play four beats per chord or per major triad I should say, okay? So I'm going to count to four and then we're going to start playing all the major triads. One, two, three, four. Okay, so keep doing that until it's perfect. By the way, uh, I shouldn't have said all the major triads because technically there is several more. Um, starting from C sharp, we have the C sharp major scale. And we have the C sharp major triad and so on and so on for the D sharp and the F sharp and the G sharp. I'm not going to go into detail on those, I just will strongly advise you to practice them on your own if you're ready for it. Now that you know about major triads, let's talk about minor triads. So, a major triad, sound happy? One, three, five of the scale. A minor triad is a half step lower with the third finger. So let's just look at one hand. C, E flat, G. So, the whole mood changes of this chord. Happy triad, sad triad. All we did was we flatted the third, okay? So that's not part of the major scale anymore. <laughs> We'd have to go. It's now a minor scale. So we're going to play some more minor triads now, starting with D minor. So remember D major triad looks like this. So to get D minor, you flat the third. Happy, sad. Okay. So let's go to E major triad. And I want you to try and make it an E minor triad. Hope that you flatted the third and got that sound. Okay, good. We're going to go to the F major triad. Now try and make this an F minor triad. F, A flat, C. <coughs> Excuse me. G major triad. G minor triad, what do you do? Okay, A major triad, A, C sharp, E, becomes what? A, C, E. Okay, B major triad has the two black keys, and now what? Just flat the D and keep your fifth on a black key. Okay? Because the fifth doesn't have to flat or sharp. That's the biggest mistake I see people make is they want to sharp everything. But you only need to flat the third, okay? So back to C. So this time we'll play all of the minor triads as chords. I'm gonna count to four and then we're going to count to four per chord. So, one, two, three, four. arpeggio is a chord broken up. What that means is instead of playing a C major chord, C major triad, you're going to play 
one note after the other, like that. And you can play them in any order, it, it just... That's technically an arpeggio too. That's an arpeggio. All it means is they're not played at the same time. So, what we are going to do is go up and down, and then play the chord. Okay? So with both hands, um, at this beat, one, two, C major, go. So now that you know what an arpeggio is, we're going to practice our major and our minor triads as arpeggios. So with the metronome, let's go a tad faster now that you know them. Uh, Let's go to 112, let's just say. And with both hands, we're going to play the major triad, then the minor triad. Got it? One, two, ready, go. Mm -hmm. 